year ago, we showed our Unreal Engine 3 game technology running for the very first time. With groundbreaking visuals and unique gameplay, Infinity Blade was a, a really huge success for Epic Games. So that's why I'm so excited today to show you for the very first time Infinity Blade 2. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Infinity Blade Studios, and I am so incredibly happy to announce that we have found a port for Infinity Blade 2. Yes, that is correct. Not just IV1, but now, if you look at the internet archive, there is actually two games that you can now play for Infinity Blade. This was not just a direct port of the game. This was effectively a remaster of Infinity Blade 2. In this video, I'll show you how to download the game, all the different cool features that you can set up in the settings that we didn't have originally, and a variety of other systems to make this game the best Infinity Blade experience we have ever had. And let's get started. Part 1. Installing the game. So the first thing you want to do before you install the game is to have DirectX installed. This is something that Microsoft requires you have on your Windows computer in order to run uh, just about any video game. So if we go to this link right here, we can download DirectX and that's the first thing that we need to do. Alright guys, now that we have DirectX installed, we need to download the game itself from the Internet Archive page in the description. You'll see that there's two different ways to download the game. The 7Z version is the smallest version of the game, but you will need WinRAR or another unzipped software to install it. If you just download the zip, you will need to extract it on your computer, but that's all you need to do and then you're good to go. Once the game is unzipped, go to Infinity Blade 2, Binaries, and then double click on the launcher. You will likely get this blue screen prompt but all you need to do is press more info and then run anyway. Congratulations, you have installed and launched the Infinity Blade 2 PC launcher. But wait, there's more. Before you go into the game, you will want to check out the new settings. This game is not just a port, it's also a remaster with a variety of Infinity Blade mods that you can implement in the options. Our first feature is display. Here we have resolution that scales to our monitor. I'm using a 1440p monitor, so I get you know a ton of great resolution. And as we see here, we can customize the frame rate and do V-Sync. As for graphics, we have so many cool features like bloom, dynamic shadows, motion blur. If we go over to the controls toggle here, we can do our key binds. I strongly, strongly suggest I'm making sure that you know what your key binds are before you go into the game. Just because you're using your mouse, you're really going to want to be using key binds to do things such as dodge left, block, and dodge right. Personally, I use C, X, and C for my main uh, dodge, block, and right dodge. My mouse, I used to swipe attack, and then I'll do E and Q to do super and magic. Now, if we go over to the game settings, we see all of these different quality of life mods that have been added to the game that you can turn on at your choosing. You can choose to completely disable hit flashes, which is super important. The flashes from each hit can be very bright to see. There's also really cool stuff like skipping through the inventory faster after you've leveled stuff up and the prize wheel mods which make it so you don't have to scroll through your prize wheels and instead when you use your prize wheel it just instantly gives you the reward with RNG. Next we can go to the language settings and you'll notice that we have subtitle options. Infinity Blade 3 was originally the only IB game that let you turn off subtitles but now we can do that in Infinity Blade 2 as I'm sure many of you guys have memorized all the dialogue already. In addition to that we have our final tab here in the launcher settings which is advanced console commands. If you want to access secret developer commands that they use while developing the game, you can turn on console commands. So all you need to do is click right here and then click tab to keybind the console. So when you're actually in the game, when you press that keybind button, you can start typing uh, secret developer commands. With that being said, let's delve into the game and look at commands. So I'm in the game and I'm going to press tab. Now I have this black line up here. I'm going to type in the command. Let's do set player goals. With this command, I can input any integer I want, and that becomes my inventory's gold count. So if I do set player goals 100 million, I will have that much gold to instantly progress through the game as I want. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of this command because it, it takes away the rewarding feeling of progression, but another great command that I love to use is toggle debug camera. 
With this command, we can see outside the player character and explore the castle in free cam using WASD, EQ, and the arrow buttons. This allows you to take screenshots or get just another view of locations that we never saw before. This is just one of my favorite things about the PC port, and sometimes I like to just take a moment and just look at the castle in all of its glory. Another great command that I love is FOV. Uh, the default FOV is 65, but just like gold, we can input any integer we want up to like 120. It really lets Infinity Blade take up your whole monitor because remember, the 65 FOV was designed for mobile devices, you know? We have more screens, so might as well show more game. One additional thing to mention with the files of Infinity Blade 2 PC is to make sure to know where your save location is. Your save location is going to be most likely in your desktop or your documents and find the folder called My Games Infinity Blade 2 Sword Game Cloud. This is where all of your saves are. Just take a copy of this entire folder, copy it and put it somewhere on your desktop. So that way, if any sort of weird thing happens where your computer shuts off in the middle of playing, you lost your save somehow, you can go back in and drag and drop these files back into your save folder, that way preserving your progress for years to come. It's important to note that the saves aren't backed up automatically, so whenever you log off and you're done playing, just make sure to, you know, go to that save folder and copy your current sword save files and everything into your backups just, you know, every week, every month, or however long to ensure that you always have pretty recent saves to go back to. If you go into your Steam library and add the EXE file as a non-Steam game, you can actually launch Infinity Blade straight from your Steam library, which means you don't have to mess with the files ever and you get to play it with all of your other PC games, which is just a really fun, cool library function. Alright guys, that wraps up how to install and all the new features with Infinity Blade 2 PC. Guys, I did not make this game. The mysterious modder who did this is truly an incredible hardworking person. This must have taken so much time. So whoever it is, whoever's out there, thank you so much for sharing this with us. Please everyone download this game, join the Discord, let's get the community thriving again. We had Infinity Blade 1 last year, we have Infinity Blade 2 this year. It's not an April Fool stroke. This is the real deal. We've earned it. Let's have some fun and play Infinity Blade again. God bless.